Northeastern Huskies associate head coach Tom Blake will and has done everything for his team and family. But when he faced one of the most difficult circumstances a parent can go through, it was only fitting that his team took on his role and became his biggest supporter. I was on the bus coming home for the weekend <clears throat> to spend some time with the family and I get a call on the bus at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and my, it's my wife and she says, my son just came back from the doctors and uh, they told me he's got cancer. You know, we're just, we're stunned. It's, it's the same thing that everybody does, you know, me, my son. You know, their family becomes your family and um, it's just, it's just, it just happens because you just spend so much time together. Um, so when we first found out that uh, Coach Blake's son, Brian, had uh, cancer, it, it really affected the whole program. It, it affected his entire family, um, including us. Brian Blake, Coach Blake's son and a student at Quinnipiac University, learned that his cancer was metastatic and that his battle would continue. The news would hit the Husky family hard, and especially his players, who saw their coach and someone their own age at his most vulnerable moment fighting for his life. They knew it was now time to step up and support their mentor as he always had for them. We're more than just a basketball team. Like we've been emphasizing all day, we're a family and everybody's here for each other. And the team has been great. Um, they don't like to talk about it, because they, and a lot of people don't because they don't know what to say, but they'll text me. And uh, I'm always comforted by their text. Coach, we're praying for you. Tell Brian we're with him, and uh, you know, that's a great thing for me. And I pass them all on to him and my wife. Well, you know, it, it, was, it was rough, it was, it was rough, but you know, his resiliency, his courage, um, his ability to just show up every day with a smile on his face, made it easier for everyone in the program to handle it and support him. He's extremely dedicated to the program and he's driving here and back to CT all the time for his son and then back here with us. And he really loves us and he loves his son and we try to encourage him to go home as much as possible. And there's a lot of times where you go home and uh, there's nothing you can do. That's probably the hardest part of being with him is the, is the helplessness. You know, I'm not a doctor, I can't do the work. All I do is sit there and, and, and watch what's going back and forth. I think he's provided a great example for the players and also for me because you know we go you know as coaches we have our lives and you know we go through ups and downs but when we walk on the court everything stays outside the gym doors and we just handle business and Coach Blake does that just that because he knows once those doors open we're completely supportive of him and his family. He can t we could take away some of the stress from here since he has to worry about that at home so we're just trying to like win all these games for him every day and we know that we're going to stick together just for Coach Blake. I know it's constant on his mind, but I think he kind of uses being with the program and being with the girls as a little bit of a, as a little bit of therapy for him. The team took to the streets of Boston to show its support for their coach and his son this past September. The 12 sisters wearing t-shirts proclaiming their solidarity with Brian at the Brian Honan Foundation 5K, one of their annual community service projects. I think the girls were just so proud that day to um, be his support system. Um, you know, they wore those, sh those shirts proudly and whenever anyone asked them, he said, you know, they told them, you know, it's our coach and there he is right there. That was really empowering for us to be at the walk and everybody asking us, What's, what are those shirts for? Who are those shirts for? And we're just like, Coach Blake, Coach Blake and his son, like all day. So if you guys want to support, please do. He's gone online, he's, he's checked it out because we posted that up. He has a shirt, uh, somewhere I have a picture of him and my wife in the hospital. She's sitting on the bed next to him, they're both wearing their shirts. Throughout the process, everyone involved has learned about the special NU family surrounding them. Head coach Daniel LaForce has seen a program come together as one. The team has gained more perspective and found another reason to battle through life struggles. Coach Blake has seen the true character of his son and how that's carried over to his colleagues and players. Not once has he said, why me? Not, not once. One thing we learned from this is that is when adversity hits, we got to keep fighting. And I think this is what Coach Blake and his son have taught us, that they're just going to keep fighting no matter what happens next, sir. After every game, he's, you know, talking to his father on text and, and phone calls. You know, he's a constant presence in our, in our program. Um, and, you know, he knows we're there for him as well. And, you know, he knows his father is in a good place and, and he's getting a lot of support. So I think that keeps him going and keeps him, keeps him fighting as well. I've only seen him one time. But even that little moment, I can tell he was just like his father, like caring, outgoing, and just a genuine guy. So I immediately knew that this, if, if we're going to fight for him, like I'm all in. Now I have two sons. If I had to have two daughters, I'd pick any two of them. Any two of them, hands down. That's how good they are.
this is not just a factory where I'm gonna walk on the floor, XO, XO, I'm off the floor. It's, it, our program is more than that. When we're tested, you find out who the people who are really committed are, and we were tested. We were tested with this situation, and we're still all standing, we're, we're still all there supporting him. We're still all there fighting every single day for him, um, and, and I wouldn't expect anything less from family. Though Brian's fight isn't over, he recently went through a 10-hour procedure to remove more lesions. He and his father can garner hope and strength with the help of their 12 sisters in Boston, fighting his fight alongside him.